Prince Harry warned against alienating Canadians with climate change campaign. Prince Harry has been warned that he risks alienating many Canadians and igniting public anger if he aggressively pushes his climate change agenda in his new North American home. Harry is a passionate environmentalist and has often spoken out about the dangers posed by climate change. While on a trip to Botswana last year, the Duke of Sussex described planet Earth as being in a state of emergency and encouraged people to join the fight. In an impassioned speech, he told an audience, We are losing the race against climate change. Everyone knows it. There's no excuse for not knowing that. The most troubling part of it is that I don't believe that there's anybody in this world that can deny science, undeniable science and facts, science and facts that have been around for the last 30, maybe 40, years and it's only getting stronger and stronger. Aaron Udrick from the Canadian Taxpayers Federation, CTF, has cautioned Harry that he faces being given a chilly reception in Canada if he goes on the offensive with his global warming campaigning. Mr. Udrick pointed out that almost half the country and Western Canada in particular, where Harry and Meghan have made their new home, relied on the oil and gas industry for an income. The CTF director, whose organization has launched a campaign against the federal carbon tax, told Express.co.uk, We believe in climate change, but we do not support the tool they are using to fight it. On that issue generally I think that if Harry wants to engage in political campaigns, he will need to be very sensitive to the political realities in Canada. He will not find a very warm welcome in many parts of this country if he is aggressively in support of things like carbon taxes. He will get a very chilly reception in many parts of Canada if he does. He explained, so much of Western Canada is a very natural resource-based economy. So things like oil pipelines are the means to an existence for millions of people. I think he would find the message, he's essentially saying he is opposed to these industries, would not go over very well in much of Western Canada. The CTF has been at the heart of a campaign to pressure the Canadian government in refusing to pay for the security costs of Harry and Meghan. Those costs are believed to run into the millions of pounds and Mr. Udrick had called on Justin Trudeau to make a definitive public statement that Canadian taxpayers would not be left to foot the security bill. On Thursday Mr. Trudeau's government finally admitted defeat and confirmed it would no longer fund the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's security bills. Public Safety Canada, the body responsible for the royal couple's security, said. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex choosing to relocate to Canada on a part-time basis presented our government with a unique and unprecedented set of circumstances. The RCMP, Royal Canadian Mounted Police, has been engaged with officials in the UK from the very beginning regarding security considerations. As the Duke and Duchess are currently recognized as internationally protected persons, Canada has an obligation to provide security assistance on an as-needed basis. At the request of the Metropolitan Police, the RCMP has been providing assistance to the Met since the arrival of the Duke and Duchess to Canada intermittently since November 2019. The assistance will cease in the coming weeks, in keeping with their change in status. Mr. Udrick expressed his delight at the decision, praising Mr. Trudeau for listening to the people. He said, this is a tremendous victory for Canadian taxpayers and the Trudeau government for doing the right thing. Canadians were unequivocal that the Duke and Duchess are welcome here, but that they need to pay their own way. 